Violent crimes are on the rise on the Magnificent Mile. There have been several robberies as well as carjackings and shootings nearby in the last few months. And that is prompting action from an influential organization. It is rare for the president and CEO of the Magnificent Mile Association to talk about crime. But she says with recent events, they're stepping up to the challenge. Another crime this week on the Magnificent Mile on Thursday afternoon, Thieves swipe coats from Canada Goose. It's the latest criminal case. Violent crime has been up, um, and that's what has us concerned. Uh, carjackings and uh, recovery of guns, um, some shootings, those kinds of things. Kimberly Bears is the president and CEO of the Magnificent Mile Association, which has more than 500 members, including retailers. We want to see the Cook County State's Attorney's Office prosecuting. When the police have put together a solid case, we want to see that prosecuted. And then we want to see the, uh, the judiciary sentence appropriately. Violent crime is rising in zip code 60611, which includes the Mag Mile, but it still has a lower violent crime rate than the city. So far this year, 30 violent crimes have been reported in the zip code, up from 22 for the same period last year. And for a year-to-year -year comparison, in 2021, there were 313 violent crimes reported in 60611, up a third from 2020. I generally feel safe down here. However, I worry about the crime. It's been pretty bad. Uh, all these boutique stores getting hit, and uh, you don't want to be in that situation. Bear says the Meg Mile is critical. It generates $2 billion a year in property taxes. 20% of Chicago jobs are in the area, along with two thirds of Chicago hotel rooms. So when I start to put those statistics together, I think people then understand why this district is so important. And while finding crime was not part of the Magnificent Mile Association's focus in the past, it is now. It, it's not been in our history to do a lot around public safety and advocacy. That's not what we were really built for. But you've seen us respond. You've seen us step up to the challenge. We will continue to do that. Well, the Cook County State's Attorney's Office issued a statement that says, in part, public safety is the top priority of this office, and we will continue to hold those accountable for driving the violence in our communities. A spokesman for Mayor Lightfoot said public safety requires partnerships between government, business, and the community, and that the mayor is firmly committed to strengthening those partnerships. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.